She is going to be a really pretty turtle when she is all grown up. Our bowl is some tilapia that I went and cut up and frosted. Hey, buddy. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So last night I thought of a cool, fun idea to make today. So basically what we're gonna be doing is, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, we're gonna be training my Diamondback Terrapins. I know it, might, it may sound a little crazy, but you guys know, whoever has turtles out there, when you go up to their tank, their tub, whatever it may be, they absolutely just don't stop begging for food. They just go and basically just keep swimming up against the side, trying to follow you around everywhere. So that's basically what I'm aiming for. I have them, I've had them for about a month so far. So they're not as skittish as they were, but sometimes when I go, go up to their tub, they do run away and you know, they're kind of, they find me a little sketchy. That's perfectly fine because they're not fully used to me yet. But today we're gonna be working on that. I'm gonna be tong feeding them some tilapia that I went defrosted, cut up for them. And then we'll probably throw in some Missouri pellets as a little treats. But we're gonna see how that goes. And I'll show you guys a few of the other turtles as well. So let's get into the video. So right over here in this big tub, for those of you who are new to the channel, we have my ornate Diamondback Terrapins. We have my female right over there. You can tell her shell is so pretty, perfect. And then we have my male right down here, which is a flowerback. And these guys are doing really well. I do have sand at the bottom. It was fully covered all the way at the bottom, but you know, they swim around, they mix it all up, they push it to the sides and the flow from the filter kind of cleared out this whole area. So, I don't know, it looks fine, but I had some sand in because when they go up and bass, they're gonna get sand in the water. So I might as well just go and throw some in there. I know a lot of people use crushed corals as well. So maybe I might do that in the future, but as of right now, these guys are doing really good. And these guys are set up in brackish water. So these guys eat pretty much anything from shrimp to pellets to you guys know. But, He's coming to say hi. So you guys can see, they're not as skittish as they were before. They don't really mind me coming up to the tub. They have warmed up to me a lot more, but today we am showing you guys how I feed them and basically how they react. And right over here, I do have their temperature gauge. Their water is at 81 right now, keeping them nice and warm because it is still a bit chilly out. The room right now is at 70 degrees which their water would probably be around like the high 60s and that's a little too low for me. So I like to keep their water nice and heated for now. Right down here in the small tub, we have my young female ornate Diamondback Terrapin. You guys can tell her water is pretty dirty. Like I said, I do water changes on hers about every two days. I just changed her water yesterday and look how dirty it is already. So she will be getting a water change after this video once again but she is doing really good. Her water is heated as well. It's kept low 80s, just as their water is. And my hypo alligator snapper king right over here. I don't show him much on the channel, but he's doing pretty good. We got some tilapia pieces I cut up for him last night. He ate a few, but he's doing pretty well. But yeah, this girl I got from Terrapin Station late last year and she's just been growing, eating like a tank, and she's just doing really good. And at this rate, pretty soon, she'll be big enough to go and join the others in the big tub. But if you guys can look closely, I'm gonna try and get it to focus on her shell. She's starting to get some flower back markings. So she is gonna be a really pretty turtle when she is all grown up, so I can't wait. But we're gonna go put her back and get back to these guys over here. So right up here, we have our bowl with some tilapia that I went and cut up, defrosted, and then we have our tongs over here. So we're gonna set up probably right here. It's a good spot. And then we're gonna take our tongs and basically we just go grab a piece and then we get their attention. I just like to wiggle it in the water a bit. I think she's gonna be the first one to come. You guys can see, oh, she got it. She just went and swallowed the entire thing. I like to make them move around a lot and chase after the food. It's a lot, it's really good for them. 
There we go. Let me see if we get her. <laughs> she likes to do these little spins while chasing the food. It's hilarious. Here we go. It's two for her. We're gonna see if the boy wants to come up and eat some. Oh, here he is. Just talking about him. Come here, buddy. There you go. His shell is looking really nice too. He just has to shed off some of those old scoops and his shell would be popping. Oh, she wants some more. Let's not keep her waiting. Here you go. Look at him hiding back there. Come here, buddy. There you go. These guys are probably by far my favorite turtles that I own. They're just, their personalities are just crazy, you guys can tell. These guys are really curious to come up to you. And they're just great pets overall. Pretty expensive, but very well worth it in my opinion. And here, she wants some more. Come here. Where are you at? Come back. <laughs> she got stuck on the team. There you go. These guys are pretty much finishing up. They're eating a whole bunch. This guy. She's hiding back there. Let me see if he can get his attention. Let's see if he'll bite it through the hole. And he got it. <laughs> Gonna give the female another one. Come here, girl. Let's see if we get her to work for it a bit. Here. Make her do little spins, and then we'll give it to her. Such beautiful turtles, too. These guys are loved on my TikTok as well. I made a TikTok last night on them, and it absolutely blew up. And a lot of you guys seem to enjoy these guys a lot. So I'll be posting a lot more content, including these guys, on my channel and on TikTok. So make sure you guys go check that out. You guys can see they pretty much cleared up the entire board. I did save these two pieces to feed to my younger diamondback. But I threw like three or four around. I don't know if you guys can see them down there in the sand. I like to throw a couple, just randomly in the enclosure, for them to go out and basically find their own food. It keeps them, you know, curious. You can see he's gonna go around. They'll find them eventually. They usually find them pretty quick. But, oh, let's see. There you go. He found one of them. Now she's gonna come along and see what he's doing. Probably gonna try and steal it from him. <laughs> I'm surprised she didn't. Okay, there she goes, she found her own. Now with these two little pieces, we're gonna go and feed this girl right down here. So I'm gonna start off with this small little strip. This girl loves that stuff. And then we got one more for her. It might be a little bit big, but we'll see. She'll be able to rip it up if anything. There she goes. Or she'll just swallow it whole. <laughs> I am gonna feed her as well before I change out her water, just cause she's so messy. We'll grab a couple Missouri pellets, come over here, and just throw them in for her. She'll see them in a second. Come here, over here, look. Turn around. I gave you more food. Look. <laughs> She's just backing all the way up. She'll start eating any second. There she goes. Such a beautiful little turtle. Can't wait for her to be at these guys' size so she can come and join them inside this big tub. I do want to get another female for this tub, so hopefully that will happen in the near future. That's gonna be for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these videos. I'll be glad to make them. I love making these videos. Some of the best parts of owning these turtles. Coming in here, just, it's relaxing. 
come in here feeding these guys and you watch them grow, watch them come up to you and know who you are and it's just one of the best feelings. I do love making these videos and I'll be glad to make some more if you guys do enjoy them. So let me know down in the comments. Follow me on TikTok because we have hit over 1100 followers on there. My last TikTok thing is at 25k views. So thank you guys for all the support. Really did not expect it, but it's just amazing to me. Hopefully we hit 10k followers very soon. So go follow me on there and follow my Instagrams because I am trying to get some more followers. But yeah, thank you guys for all the continuous support. I appreciate all of you. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Turn on post notifications so you get notified every time I post a video. And I will see you guys on the next video. Have an amazing day.